Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy kiddos. kiddos. You know, it's a gorgeous day outside it today. It is beautiful. It's not too hot. Yep. So today, we're going to review the Pit Boss Smoker, which is the smoker that we use for all of our grilling. And we'll check it out right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews, like kind of like we're going to do today. Yeah. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it so before we head outside to the grill what's with the mother's day balloon that's <laughs> So Caleb got this for me for Mother's Day from the Dollar Tree and it is still floating, yo. Like amazing. I just I had to show everybody because I'm trying to see will it last until Father's Day. So in other words, I'm getting a Mother's Day balloon for Father's Day. Possibly, but I mean, like, it's it's almost June 1st. Like, tomorrow is June 1st, and it's still going. I'm amazed. Well, let's head, let's grab the camera. We'll head out to the grill, mm -hmm. and I'll have Rachel hold the camera. So, like, if it shakes too much, I'm sorry. Hey, I resemble that comment. <laughs> so I'll just kind of show you guys why I love the Pit Boss Grill so much. All right, let's check it out. Okay. Okay, so this is the Pit Boss Grill that we use. This is actually the uh, Pro 1100. We got this one uh, from Lowe's, and it's one of the best ones that they have. I think they have one model that's just a step over. Um, now, they sell a very similar one to this one in Walmart. It's $100 cheaper. It's just missing um, a couple little features like the front shelf, which I'll show you in a minute. But basically, all of the Pit Boss Grills are very similar in the way they function. The difference in the models and the prices just come down to how big it is and does it have any like extra features like meat probes or front shelves or anything like that. So Rachel, if you want to come over here, we'll kind of show you the basics of this grill. So like I said, this one here has a shelf here and that's a, a, only a feature that's available on the one in Lowe's. Uh, the Walmart one doesn't have the front shelf, it just has a shelf over there on the side. And then when you open it up in here, again, this is the really large one this little grill here comes out and honestly i don't even use that a lot of times if i'm making like you know a big pork butt i'll pull it out uh, but it does count for part of that 1100 uh, square inches now over on this then if you come in here closer rachel one of the things that i like about the pit boss is if you can see in here i don't know if the, the camera is going to pick it up but right here below that is a flame pot and that's where the, the wood is gonna burn and make the smoke. So one of the features about the Pit Boss is the fact that we can expose the flame pot. So I have a handle over here and you can see here when I push on it, it puts those holes in the grate. Can you see that Rachel on the camera? See those holes in there? Oh yeah, there it is. And what happens when you do that, what's gonna happen is the flames will be able to come up through and you can flame broil your food. And that's something that is not on something like a Traeger. A Traeger would be completely closed off like that. Now, Rachel, if you come down here, you can show where my hand is. I'll move these tools. The feature on the Lowe's one down here is there's this little handle that does that. On the cheaper models, uh, you're gonna have to actually lift up the grates and do that by hand. So this piece over here is the hopper, and this is pretty much the brain behind the entire grill. The rest of the grill is just a basic grill. What this does is it takes these wood pellets, Rachel, if you want to show that, and it feeds it into the grill. And basically, all these are is little little pieces of wood formed into pellets. It looks like rabbit food. It does look like rabbit food or, or rabbit litter. Mm. And what it'll do is it'll feed this in there. Now, what happens, the one thing I like about this model is it's got a little window so I can see how many pellets are left as opposed to constantly opening this up and possibly letting rain or something get in there. And then down here, this is pretty much the entire brains behind the whole thing. You have a power button here and when you turn that on, all you're gonna do is dial this knob over and the knob is gonna set your prep correct temperature. And then this, these two little places here are going to be for like putting in some meat probes. So now if I would turn it on to smoke or whatever, you can see I'm gonna set whatever temperature I want and then it'll also tell me that's the temperature inside of the grill right now. 
So those are the basic features of the Pit Boss Grill, but the bottom line is this thing is super easy to use. I mean, it was really designed that anybody could be a pit master. Anybody can smoke a great brisket or make a great set of ribs or put a steak on it. It's just super easy to use. And I really think that the best way to show how easy this thing is to use is to actually cook something. I love this idea. But you know what? I really think that we need the best way to show how easy it is is to have a recipe that's so easy, even Rachel can Wait, make it. Wait, what? Do you think this is a good idea? I think it's a great idea because this thing is that easy to use. The only thing is, is that the meat we put on here isn't exactly free. No, we're gonna make a set of ribs. How much were the ribs? Three fifty a pound. Times how many pounds? So each rack was like twelve dollars, and we're gonna make two racks. Oh dear lord, so I'm going to put like $25 worth of meat on here? Yeah, so come on over here, we're going to show you how easy this is uh, to do. Come okay. on. Okay, so in order to start this thing, first thing you have to do is you're going to open up the lid. All right, I can do that. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! Are we done? Okay, now come down here and press the little power button down here. Oh. Yep, just press it, it'll light up blue. Right. Now go over to that knob mm -hmm. and turn it to smoke, the very first notch. Boop. Okay, you've turned the grill on. Nah. -uh. That's all you did. It's going to automatically feed the pellets in, uh -huh. and you can hear it in here. You're not gonna be able to see anything, but you can hear the convection oven. We'll be quiet for a minute and let everybody hear it. But what that is is that's a fan blowing, mm -hmm. and that's what's gonna keep the fire going, and it's gonna circulate the hot air. So right now it's feeding pellets in. You can hear it. We'll see if we can let it hear it. Oh, I hear things dropping. Yeah, so that, that is the pellets dropping. So this is gonna take about 10 minutes for the grill to completely heat up. So let's go inside and prepare the ribs while this gets ready. All right. So it is a touch warmish outside. It is super hot outside. I think it's like 93 degrees it's or something. It's beautiful, ridiculous. beautiful and sunny and we're ready for summer. Like I wanna go in the pool, but I'm like, enjoying being inside today. It's, it's getting warmish. Okay, so you're ready to do this? So we have no. two racks of baby back ribs here. And it is not too late for you to take over the cooking nope, process. you can do this. Okay, so all we're gonna do is put a rub on it, but we're gonna start on the back. So go ahead and flip them over because I need to show you something. Okay. Ooh, now this one looks this one looks different. This okay. one's like shiny. So yeah, so I'm, let's hold them up. Okay, so we can see, I don't know if they're gonna be able to see that, but if you look on this one, you're gonna see this side, this one is much shinier and that's because there's like a, a skin. It's like, I forget what the name of it is, that's on here. Okay. That you remove. Now, a lot of people don't remove it, but you really wanna remove it because when you put the rub in, it's gonna allow all the meat to get into all the seasonings to get into that meat. Oh, I like that. Okay, okay, so what you need to do, I've already started it, but if, wait a second before you start. This thing? It's, yeah, it's this piece right here. You can see this film here, okay? Now, what if you can't, take, some people have a hard time getting it started. All you would do is just take a butter knife mm -hmm. and put it along the bone and kind of like push it in and raise it up and then you can pull it off. Now, the oh. easiest way, it's kind of hard to grab. All right. So the easiest way to do this is just take a paper towel mm -hmm. and grab that film with the paper towel and then slowly pull back and it should come off oh, in one yeah. piece. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's like when I get sunburnt and you pull the <laughs> skin off. Wow, that's really appetizing. <laughs> Sorry. And that's it. That's so, it. So all you're doing is just removing, this is the film, and a lot, like I said, a lot of people don't remove it, but you get such a better flavor if you remove this. Huh, that's cool. I okay. did not know that. Okay, so this is pretty simple. We've got, this is just a simple barbecue seasoning pork broth, um, rub that mm -hmm. I got at Penn Dutch. Okay. Normally I make my own, but I wanted to try this one. All right. Because this one's got no sugar. It's salt, black pepper, onion, garlic, paprika, chipotle powder, and that's it. Nice. So. Very flavorful though. It was on sale, so I figured why not? So, except for the top is all. So I'm gonna have to be easy, not dump the whole thing out. No, we can get it out. Yay. Okay. Okay. So you want to cover the whole back. Like that. Let me get it close so that you can not, not waste lose as much. so much. It was funny. We got a comment recently that's like, nobody can be that inept in the kitchen. I know. I deleted that comment. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, well, challenge accepted. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Make sure you get these edges of the meat over here. Okay. okay. That's good. Now let's flip it over. All right. And by the way, we've brought these ribs up to room temperature. Now, if you have time, the best thing to do is to put that seasoning on there and 
like wrap it in like uh, some saran wrap and keep it in the refrigerator overnight. That'll really let those seasonings get into Ooh, the meat. Oh yeah. Um, but a lot of times, like we never have time to do that, or we choose, or we decide to make ribs at the last second. Yeah. Uh, but if you can bring the ribs to room temperature before you put it on, now put more net. You want a good coating. Remember, we're not going to put barbecue sauce on this. Oh, that's true. Why don't you do the whole thing at once so that we don't waste it up to the side? Because Rachel. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, get more on this one. There you go. There's no such thing as too much. I like that because it really just kind of, does some of it burn off or something or cook off? Or? Well, it's going to form a nice crust. Oh, okay. Get this one more. Over here. I think you're good. Maybe a little bit down here on the end. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> it's like waiting for an avocado to ripen. Put a little bit more over here. Hey, you said that was enough. Okay. Okay, so that's it. So now that we have these all seasoned up, we can go They're back out orange. to the grill. <laughs> They're super orange. We can go back out to the grill because the fire's probably brought up the smoke. Mm -hmm. We're going to set it to 250 degrees, and then we're going to go and take them and put them on the grill. Can I wash my hands first? Yeah, go wash your hands because they're kind of disgusting. It's gross. Okay, so uh, we'll, I'll go and set up the grill and then we'll bring the camera out there and put them on the grill. All right, awesome. I feel like I'm presenting the meat, like dun, 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 dun. Okay, so this is where I like this front shelf. You can rest it on there and I'll look right here and you can see it's set to 250 degrees. It's 240 degrees, 245. So uh, we can go ahead and put them on. So all you're going to do is just open up the lid. Ooh. Looks like a furnace. And it does have a little stopper there, so you can press it up. And then just go ahead and put the racks on the bottom. Don't put them on the top. Should I do them long ways? It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Woo! Woo! Almost lost them. Like that? Yep. Okay. Should I put a little bit of... Nope. That's good. Just so you can put that where you just expose the meat a little bit. I'm so excited I didn't throw it on the ground. Okay, go ahead and close the lid. Okay. No, just reach up. I'm a little afraid. What are you doing? I'm a little afraid of it. Okay, so now we're going to let them go about two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come out and wrap them with aluminum foil. Awesome. Okay, so let's go inside and we'll be back in a couple hours. Okay. Okay, so it's been about two hours. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the ribs out and we're going to wrap them in foil for another like hour and a half. All right, it smells like a delicious campfire out yeah, here. Yeah, take a look at that smoke coming out. What? That looks good already. Okay, so I already pulled some aluminum foil. Go ahead and grab it from behind. Just pull out one piece right now to okay. get two racks of ribs. Woo. Lay it across the front shelf. And then just carefully pull one of the red racks down and put it on. Are you so impressed I did not drop that on the ground? I'm super impressed. Here, I'll take that. Wow. Now you're going to wrap it twice. That? Yep. Now grab the other piece and wrap it again. Oh, no kidding, guys. So you do need an aluminum foil budget. You do. Get, get it at Costco. It's super cheap. You can buy a big aluminum box. Okay. Do you remember which side was the bones? Um, this is the top and that's the bones. Okay, bone side down, put it back in. Push it out of your way, and then we're gonna grab two more pieces of aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. Yeah, this this is our pig roasting box. La caja china, like that. Yeah. Probably a china. Thank you. Grab your other rack. Try not to touch the meat. Okay. Okay. Go 
upside down, back in. Close it up. And last thing you want to do is just check your pellets, although you should be fine. Yeah, we've got plenty. Yep. So this thing holds, I think, like 40 pounds. So open up the lid and take a look inside. What? So you can see how much we've used for that smoke. And this is really what, like, a real pit boss or, you know, someone who's like a professional gorilla. Professional pit can be using actual pieces of wood. But they're going to know, I'm going to put this stick on and it's going to keep the fire this hot or I'm right. going to take this off. So this is what this, this thing is doing that work for me. Yeah, that's the whole idea of this machine is it's going to keep it at the right temperature. If we look down and we've had the lid open and you can see here, we still have it set on 250 degrees. That handle piece because there's no so it's going to start feeding some pellets back in there to bring it back up to 250 degrees. Nice. And it just keeps it there. So I can just go and relax and it's going to do the work for me. It's doing everything for you. We'll come back in about an hour and a half. All right. What are you doing? Shadow puppets. <laughs> Look, it's a bunny. Okay, come on. Okay. <laughs> Obviously it's nighttime. Our patio lights are on and Rachel is... This is the perfect the shadow, shadow puppet screen. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, I'm hungry. Can we film this? I'm hungry. Look at your camera. I'm going to eat it. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So it's been about an hour. Yes. And the ribs are done. It so. smells like very campfire yeah. here. We've got, this is the only problem with the smoker. I'm sure our neighbors love us. I want to go watch the mask now because this thing is smoking. Going, this thing is going every <laughs> single day. So. I know. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We can go ahead and I'll give you a plate, a tray. Okay. So just put your tray there. Oh, here's man. Your tongs. I feel a lot of pressure not to drop go this. Go ahead and open it up. Oof. Okay. Just slide them out on the tray. Woo! Now, some people actually take them out of the foil again for another hour. I am not risking it. But I don't bother with that because that's usually when you're putting barbecue sauce on it. So. Ugh. Ugh. All okay. right. Here, give me those. I'll take these because then you have to clean the grill now. Oh, man. I'll wait till you see how easy it is to do. So that. easy to clean, even Joe can do it. No. Why doesn't he do it? Okay, see, so here's how you're gonna how you're going to go ahead and clean this. Go down to the knob where you put it on the smoker. Okay. Turn it up to about 450 degrees. Oh my gracious. 450. Okay. Uh huh. Go ahead and close the lid. You don't have to go all the way around to the. Top. I'm afraid of it. Okay. Okay. We're gonna let that come up the temperature, burn for about five minutes, and then you can come out and scrape it. It takes two seconds and it burns everything off. Really? Yep. So let's go inside and unwrap these things. Yeah, buddy. We're all done. Are you ready to see how you did with barbecue ribs? I'm kind of excited. I hope they cooked all the way now, through. Now, you have never, ever used a barbecue grill or smoker, right? Ever. And all I really did was tell you what to do. So you didn't really do, I didn't do anything. Here's the thing. The I, only thing I did was actually go out and turn the temperature up to 250 degrees after we had it, like the fire going. So here's the thing. I've eaten a tremendous amount of barbecue. So I feel like that counts. Okay. Go ahead and let you want, you want me to unwrap it. I know it's going to be hot. Yeah. I don't want to burn myself. Okay. I mean, I don't want you to burn either, but. That's so nice of you. Okay, so that's gonna be <gasps> one. Oh my goodness. I wish we had smell o vision right now. Okay, let me get the other one out. Wow. I'm trying not to, I am keep looking at the screen to make sure that like the aluminum foil isn't like horrible on the camera. It looks like we got these things from space. Okay. Wow. So that is beautiful. I'm gonna try to lift this up and show it to the camera. All right. So there's your ribs. Okay, so now here is the ultimate. And when you wrap them, it kind of creates a sauce out of that with the condensation. Right. Okay, so here's the other one. I'm so excited. Now they here's look so how professional. You know, here's how you know if they're done. Okay. We take our tongs. All right. You lift it from the middle. Okay and you see what they do. 
And if they start falling apart just like that, then they're done. They're done, so, and they're perfectly cooked. So if they don't come apart, if they don't, then then they need to go back in. Okay. So like same thing. If we pick up this other one, it, it can somehow hold up this and to let them see. Okay. So watch. As soon as we start picking it up, see how it's just falling it apart like that. It's that falling means apart. They're done. Wow. Let me grab a knife. Okay. Although it looks very much like I could just pull this bone right out. Oh, that's that's how we're gonna know. I'm gonna cut right down one of these. I brought a fork, cause civilized. Yeah, but they're ribs. We don't do, look at look at that. Look at the way the bone wow. just comes right off. <laughs> oh my goodness. You did a great job. So Thank yeah, you. well I guess we'll just give me, a, where's my fork? Oh, I didn't bring you one. Wow. See what I have to live with? I feel like you weren't going to take a fork. You get very like, not supposed to need a fork. Okay, let's go. No, no barbecue sauce. No barbecue sauce, but a, a good, generous rub. When a toast to barbecue. Rachel's first smoked ribs. Explosion. Okay. Now that I wow. got this, let's see if we can, you can just see. Oh, wow. Look at that, look, like smoke ring. Take a look at that. I mean, look at the way the bones, you can literally, will hold up the bone. Yeah, they're just falling watch, out. Watch this. Ready? <laughs> That's how you know. Oh my goodness. Hey, you know what my favorite sandwich used to be? The McRib. A McRib, but there's a real McRib. I was gonna say, it's not like pressed wood. I mean, you're seriously, we're just literally pulling the bone out. I mean. Wow. Look at that. There's a half a rack of rib of bones. Don't there's throw those out, because you know what I'm gonna do with those. Hey, Tabitha. Uh-uh. <laughs> Mommy's gonna eat those. So, well, once again, we proved that there are some things that everybody thinks is really difficult. But it's so easy. Even Rachel can make it. <laughs> Exciting. So again, guys, that's our like mini review of the Pit Boss Grill. And now you can see why we love it so much. And yeah, there are some other great, you know, smoker grills out there. Absolutely. I mean, Traker makes a great product. Um, I just prefer the Pit Boss because of like that little thing where we can expose the flames. It's also several hundred dollars cheaper. I was gonna say the cheaper, price tag makes me happy. Several hundred dollars cheaper and they have a much better warranty. It's a five year warranty. We are not sponsored by Pit Boss, though we should be. Right. <laughs> I know, right? But we're not sponsored by them. We're not affiliated. And we don't make a dime by telling you guys how much we love the Pit we're Boss. But it has like changed the game with eating keto in our house. I mean, we yeah. went from always eating like eggs and like hamburger and ground beef cooked in the kitchen, making a mess to like we're eating brisket every week. We're eating baby back ribs every week. And honestly, that stuff is fattier than eating a steak and it's cheaper. Well, and it's nice to be able, especially in the summer months, it's so hot, like you don't want to like heat up your kitchen. Yep. And it's nice, before you couldn't just like go and cook a couple of hamburgers. Right. Because you'd have to get like an entire oh, I had a bag giant, of I had a, gets out there. Well, I had a, my barbecue before I got my first Pit Boss last year for my birthday, it was a you know grill that was converted out of a hot water heater. So it literally took like a bag and a half of charcoal and then like you had to light the entire thing if you just wanted to make burgers. So we never ever ate barbecue because no. it was like such a hassle. It was like only if we were having a bunch of people over. Now, even if it's just one or two burgers, it's Go no out, big deal. 10 minutes, it started, you get a nice flavor on them. And again though, like I said, baby back ribs, pork spare ribs, briskets, cheaper per pound mm -hmm. than buying a steak. I mean, a good ribeye steak is gonna cost you over $10. I can get brisket for $3.50 a pound. Yeah. And it's fattier. It tastes better, in my opinion. So I can eat it in my pajama pants. You can eat it in your pajama you pants. You know how they frown on that at restaurants? <laughs> and the thing, with, even with the brisket and stuff, is you can make a giant brisket. You spend $40 on a brisket, it's going to last you all week. Yeah. And you can do a lot with it. You could take that meat, put it with your eggs. You can eat, you can do so much with it. Yeah, so. it's very versatile. Well, that is our video for today. Hopefully we've helped you guys out and shown you a little bit about how we smoke. And now here's the good news for me. Rachel can start doing some of the smoking in the house. Oh, dang it. That was your ulterior motive, wasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. If you like what you saw, do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, 
you'll be alerted to Let it. us know down below whether or not you have a smoker, what kind of meat you like to smoke, and uh, which smoker you have, if you do have one. Yeah. So, and until next time. Bye. Bye.